Well, the cruise charter season is nearing its end, but the drama is coming at us a million knots at a million knots. So I have a speed round of questions about tonight's episode. See, I can do it too. What are your reactions to seeing Tom flip out on Asia over the cucumbers? What, what was your reaction to that, um, Jess? I feel bad laughing, um, but I mean, yeah, he was having a whole mental breakdown, eh? Uh, I, I, you know, I, I get where he's coming from because it, but I feel like it was unjust to take it out on on Asia. You know, I feel bad for. What do you think, that. Alex? <sighs> I don't know. It's I don't know. It's tough. I mean, we all get we all get upset. Uh, you know, when we're tired and. And we react. I, I think he regretted it right away, but no, I think it was uncalled for to to be harsh to, you know, Asia like that. Jess, what was the first what, what was the first moment you started worrying that Rob might like Asia? When his whole attitude towards me changed, it was um, he just started to completely like start to really ignore me and dismiss everything I was saying. And um, I was going about our relationship the same way, giving him the same affection and attention. And he was just very closed off and cold. So that's when I started trying to piece together, wondering, okay, is it the ex-girlfriend, what the, what she was messaging him about? Or is it the new girl that's on the boat that he's clearly attracted to? Did the sex or the quality of sex change? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have sex at that point, Andy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, when Malia scolded you and Rob for making out on the bow while the guests were having dinner, did you see it coming or do you not see any issue with what you two were doing? It's it's funny. I was looking through my phone. I actually have videos from that day of me saying how exhausted and tired I was laying out on the bow. So it was like my only reprieve after being like just wanting to just relax. Um, and I was really shocked that she came out and kind of handled it that way. I, I don't know. I, yeah. So I guess I'll go with a little surprise. Um, riddle me this for both of you, who's more to blame for the tension in their working relationship, Sandy for hovering over Tom and waking him up or Tom for being overly, uh, for not being too respectful of the captain. Alex, what do you think? I, you know, the captain is always has say in no matter what, even if you don't agree, the captain's always right. But, you know, they're both, you know, head of big department. So I, I think, I think, you know, they were up each other's ass both. And, and I, I don't think they, they knew how to kind of give each other the right space that they needed. 